Right, so I've, I've uh, finished all the welding now on these little tabs and I've just been around and sort of checked it with this ground uh, ground bar and this is as, much, as sophisticated as I can get but I'm literally just looking through there to see if there's any light coming through and it, I've checked all of them and it's absolutely as well as flat as I can measure anyway so I'm really happy that I've managed to get those welded on um, without it distorting I still have got to weld underneath that's not going to be quite as bad I don't think and uh, I shall do that once this plate is off but for now that's it for this for this particular bit I do need to make a handle for this actually uh, so that I can uh, sort of like to, something that fits in between here and here and has a, a knob on the end uh, or what I think too. Right so I've got more of those barrel penetrators to make I've got I need at least six more which is a real pest because I find these awkward to make I seem to mess up the o-ring groove or just never seems to go quite right anyway this is um, inch and a quarter, three on six bar. I'm just gonna chop this up and get on with it. Right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna uh, start putting in another few little bit, few penetrators and things that need to go into the hull. I've stalled a little bit on these um, uh, five eighths uh, through holes because these are drilled and reamed. They need facing, obviously, but these are now at the right dimension. Um, but my O ring grooving tool just isn't working. It's not cutting anything. I don't know what, quite what's wrong with it. I've tried everything, but I've ordered some new ones. Um, it, w it wouldn't even cut plastic, it's just rubbing and I know you think, oh, it's really, it must be really obvious what the problem is, but I, I honestly can't see it, but there's something wrong with it. Uh, anyway, so for now, put the hatch at the tower away for a bit. So I've just got the last couple of bits and bobs to go into the end cap. Uh, so this is, the, this is the aft end cap. So there's just one of these, uh, this is a quarter inch BSP taper. That's going to go in there. I've measured it into its correct position. So let's just uh, drill and weld this in. I just fished the aft end cap out, and uh, it's a bit of a scruffy mess from sitting in sitting under there so I'm just going to clean this up well cleanish well, I really don't like doing this inside but the weather's so miserable outside I've got my curtain shut this thing could do with a bit more slurp for this job but... close enough I'm going to finish the rest off with a die grinder because of all the smoke <sighs> right at this point um, the microphone actually uh, conked out so I'm just kind of narrating this so I'm showing a different type of um, barrel penetrator that I think I'm going to make for the for the tower um, so there there it is that flat bit on the end engages with the ball in a in a ball valve um, 
but that's this particular one but it it doesn't have to do that it could just pass through the hull and and control anything so it's just a different type of uh of um through hole penetrator in this case it it attaches to this lance ball valve there's no ring in there obviously and uh here yeah on the inside i'm just showing how it it works obviously you turn the handle and it opens the valve but like i said it doesn't need to open a valve it could open or do anything so i'm just going to put a couple of those in just to have as sort of auxiliaries in case i think there's anything else that i need to to add um right here i am talking about how i've just polished that thing up i think uh, still got a bit of little bit of um mark on it I said, i'm not aggressive enough at the start might do that one again um and i think here i'm starting to do the um yeah i'm starting to make the uh, hatch opening mechanism or just the handles actually i think i'm saying i'm going to skim skim those bolts down a bit God, let's speed this bit up. Yeah, and at this point here, um I've made the hatch handles uh, or the hatch arms straight as you can see and I'm just sort of debating whether to put a little little bend in them I just put those don't nuts on there just to sort of pretend knob things okay so I have decided that I am going to put a little bit of a bend in these um, there's nothing sophisticated about this I'm just going to that's where I want the bend. I'm going to put a little mark here on the vise to line it and them both up. wait for these to cool down now and a little bit of a clean up and uh, I think they'll be they'll be good yeah let's try them out okay so I've uh, oops I've um, I've attached this on properly just because I want to really see it so everything's attached properly other than these but that doesn't really matter but it's good and uh, it's nice and smooth nice and responsive and it feels solid so uh, I'm really pleased with that I need to make a handle to pull the hatch open and close so uh, seeing as these tool this tooling hasn't arrived I think I'm going to do that go from there to there something like that We've got a handle on so what I thought I'd do is um, ha, show you this um, this was this, this is a standard k350 model that I did I printed this one in four different bits so that bit one two three four bits are um, 
all stuck together. I forgot to print the tower, so there's no tower. But there was, hatch was gonna be a different color. Uh, and I've done these little miniature motors and rotatable look. They actually turned out okay. Well, only one came out, the other two didn't, but I think I know what I did wrong there. So, oh look, I've got proper uh, open tanks now. So it's definitely getting better. And these little miniature props, they came out surprisingly well. I just stuck them on the side there because, uh, yeah, just because cupboard of uh, submarine model failures. Right, let's test this handle out. Oh, hey look, it works. Right, so we've got some new stuff has arrived. Um, a couple of these knobs which were for the hatch except they're the wrong thread and the wrong size. But they're only a couple of quid, so I'm not even gonna bother sending them back. I'll probably use them for something else. And I also bought another smaller one of these, which is the bore and bar uh, grooving tool, which is has got a slightly smaller um, radius. So hopefully, because I've got a feeling that, although it's like the same kind of tool, I just got a feeling but because I was right on the wire, of the 16 mil for last time. I think it was rubbing and not working properly, but anyway. So I've got this little um, carbide one as well. Um, it's just a straight one. So I'm gonna give this one a try first, actually. Okay, so everything's set up. Um, put my little carbide tooling in. It's set on center. Absolute microscopic amount above center, actually. And I'm setting this, I'm gonna go at, uh, the speed for this is about 500, but because I'm using carbide, so I'm gonna go 625. And let's just see, this is a scrap piece, so I'm just gonna, That was actually cutting a groove properly, like it should. So, not gonna waste any more time. Let's get on with the proper ones. Right, this is the, oh, hang on. I think I've got that squeaky thing on. Uh, this is the first time, first proper one. Look at this, look. Look at that. It's brilliant. Mm. And it was all going so well. I snapped the tool off. I don't know why. I wasn't doing anything different to the others. Must have just grabbed it or something. Do you know what? I've forgotten to deburr this. I bet you that was it. I bet, I bet you the shank has just come up against this. Oh, what an idiot! That's what's happened. I've forgotten to take this burr off, and I bet you the uh, shank of the tool got up against one of these burrs and broke it. Now, luckily, we do have the other one, so I'll rig that one up. Okay, I've rigged up the new one. Try not to move because of the squeaky 
apron. Now these carbide inserts, you have to be so careful, the slightest top touch on them, and you just break the, the tip. Anyway, this is a new one. I've remembered to do the deburring. Let's see how this one goes. So I'm going to go down my 9.35. So I just had time to finish uh, three of them actually. I've got another um, three to go yet. Oh look, this is a standard K350. Forgot to do the, that in the wrong, that's in the wrong color. It doesn't matter, I'm just getting the hang of making half decent print. I'm definitely getting there now. This one, other than me forgetting to print the hatch, is pretty good and these little mini propellers came out really well i've just got to break off the bits but um so those are for these like little mini motors to stick on the side <laughs> 